Uh, <laughs> I'm Tim Woolman, I'm here at the YBF Skate Park. I nearly died on a 5 tail slide. We're here to shoot some skateboarding with the new Fujifilm X Pro 3 and a great Godox hiding system. Check it out, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So we're out here at uh, YBF Skate Park in Bryanston and this is Josh, he runs the park and he's going to tell you more about it. Yo, what's up guys, Josh here. So I'm out here at YBF Skate Park, Joburg's only safe and secure skate park for growing um, community, really such an awesome park for a lot of street elements. Uh, it's 50 rand entry the day, whole day until 6 o'clock and we've offered skateboarding lessons here uh, which is part of our growing academy. So yeah, get stuck and pull through to YB Skateboard. The best advice I can give anybody for wanting to do skateboard photography is to buy a skateboard and learn to skateboard. And the reason I say that is because with anything that you are not um, immediately familiar with, you would have to get involved in the culture, understand what a trick looks like. So if somebody says to you they're going to do a Madonna to tail, you need to know what a Madonna to tail looks like. Or if it's going to be a stale fish grab, or if it's a flipped back lip. You've got to know what all those things mean and, and the, the angle to be at it and when to take the photograph in the air. And you can pick a lot of that up from YouTube and from looking at magazines. But ultimately, like most things, um, that insider knowledge is invaluable. I think that is my, that's what helps me the most. So let's have another go. Here comes Josh. So with skateboard photography, you sometimes have to get yourself into crazy angles. I'm wearing the helmet now, just in case Brandon slips off the 50-50 and his board comes flying. Um, I'm still on a, I'm on a 7 Artisans Fisheye now at f5.6. And we still got the Godox. We've got two Godox 8600 Pros firing on full power. You wait till you see how good this shot looks. Um, yeah, <laughs> weird angles, but lots and lots of fun. Check it out. So we're setting up for a shot of Brandon Voljala. He's going to do a few tricks for us on the quarter pipe over here, this big red quarter pipe. He's going to do uh, a front side ollie, just to make sure we can get our, our lights in the right position. It's a pretty straightforward trick. He's going to do a front side grab and then a front side flip. And the front side flip is quite a tricky one because he's going to be flipping his board. And we're going to try and catch the photograph at the moment that the board has come all the way around and about to uh, he's about to catch it with his feet. That's what we wanted. So he's going to flip the board around and we're going to catch it as he's got it on his feet. So Ollie, frontside grab and um, that other one, a frontside flip. We're going to shoot... I don't know. It's, the light's fading now. So that means I can turn the sync speed up. I'm going to try and get a sync speed of about a thousandth of a second. And then that's going to be my starter. Then I'll figure out ISO afterwards. My um, aperture will be around F5.6 on the fisheye again. We're using a 7 Artisans fisheye on my Fujifilm X-Pro3 and we're using these amazing Godox lights and the monster, monster Godox uh, 8600 Pros which have turned out to be quite amazing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna have a go, see if we get it. Of course we're gonna get it, of course we're gonna get it. Of course we're gonna get it. <laughs> now is we're setting up uh, to do a burst so we're going to shoot a whole sequence of Josh and Brandon doing tricks down the handrail now down the A-frame rail and we're setting up our 
out of nowhere, my X Pro 3. We're setting up the lights to match the camera, which I've now set to eight frames a second. Now the X Pro 3 can go quicker, but we're going eight frames a second. We're using the Godox 80 600, thank you very much. <laughs> the Godox 8600s, which have an amazing recycle time. I mean, we're shooting on, I can't see the power right now, but eight frames a second on two lights. This should look quite amazing. Let's have a go. This is pretty impressive, guys. This is um, eight frames a second with, with two Godox 8600s firing keeping up with us. Let me just show you this if you can want to zoom in a little bit closer there. Check this out. Boom 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 boom. That is well impressive. Sure. this speed for that amount of time that it's always the burst depth it's not how many frames a second necessarily that people tend to miss it yes. you want eight frames a second but you want it for three or four seconds and these Correct. lights have just done that that's okay. I'm well impressed that's Excellent. amazing Excellent. very cool very cool thanks Steve amazing do something a little exciting we have petrol I don't know what this is for we have matches and we are going to pour the petrol on the ledge and we're going to light the matches i mean like the match and like the petrol and there'll be lots of fire and then brandon Valjado is going to skateboard and do a front side tail slide through that for us the most exciting part i have to say is that i'll be shooting this with a gfx 50s fujifilm i'm quite excited about that they just look amazing so yes petrol matches what's this for again whatever that is and you have lots of fun it's gonna be beautiful we're gonna shoot this on the gfx 50 that's the best part so we've actually got so many lights out here that i can't actually tell you which model is where but i can tell you why we put them where we put them so over here we've got a nice um sort of orangey gel orange yellow gel over this side that's to complement the fire and the flames that are over here and to give some light more light into brandon over here we've got these two big beautiful uh, panels led panels those are backlighting the smoke for us so that's to give us more detail in the smoke this light over here is to give some nice a nice blue shade a nice blue fill on the edge of the brick over here and also you'll see it on the edge of um, brandon's white hoodie it shows it quite nicely and then this is just to give us a nice big spill of light Hello everyone, so there you go. You can see how much fun we had. We burned stuff, we had guys skateboarding, we played with a million different lights and, and LED panels and all sorts of stuff and we got some really cool shots. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, you'd like to know any more details about camera settings we use, uh, what gear we use and that kind of stuff, please drop, a, drop us a comment below and they will get back to you. But yeah, that just shows you um, like a little bit of behind the scenes. It doesn't always work first time around. You've got to experiment. You've got to play around with the lighting and decide how much petrol even we were going to pour. We had to figure out how much we had to throw down there. But um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you guys sometime soon. Thank you so much. Cheers.